Hi, Christina. It's Emily. I know you don't want to talk at the moment, but I wanted to let you know I'm thinking of you. I know everything that's happened has been difficult, and I think you've got a long way to go in your therapy. Having a trauma like that can make you deny reality and see your deeper feelings turn into monsters. The world isn't all like that. And I can understand why you'd feel that way. Having said all that, I really think you got through this because you're a good-hearted person. Some people might say you should protect yourself more. But I like you the way you are. I like that you're loyal, you're protective of your friends, and that you're not afraid to show your emotions. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Charlotte, I know you don't want to talk to anybody right now, and I understand that. But thank you for what you did. I know you weren't sure about the risks we'll be taking, but you know we had to do it to find out the truth about Emily. I don't blame you for what happened. feeling that there's more to all this than we know. We should go back and try and figure out what really happened. For Emily's sake. It just felt like there was something we missed. Anyway, I know she'd be proud of what we did. Maybe. I'll speak to you soon, okay? Bye. Charlotte. I know it's late, but I need to get this off my chest. I nearly fucking died back there, and I can't help but feeling like you should have done more. It was your stupid decisions that got us into that place. I told you we were doing the wrong thing, but you wouldn't listen. Look, you're still my friend, but I can't see you for a while. I hope you understand. You 
let me down, Christina. There was so much more for you to find out. I'll be waiting. It's a town.